Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with a brilliant Demon Souls remake on the PlayStation 5, and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we defeated the brilliant Penetrator with the help of the legendary Bior. We then went back to the Nexus, we did a little bit of upgrading, and as always, we killed ourselves so we can play through this game in soul form, so we don't affect our pure white world tendency. Then I came back to Boletaria, the final area. We had to defeat a couple of Black Phantoms, kill a couple of Red Eye Knights, and then this blue lizard over here decided to show up to ruin my day. We managed to run past him relatively easy, I didn't die. We dodged a couple of officials, and then my intention was to kill the blue dragon whilst Bior is there trying to fight him. But unfortunately, I wasn't doing enough damage, and uh, the blue dragon killed Bior, and because he killed Bior, his head wasn't in the same location, and I was no longer able to actually do damage to him. So he's currently sitting over there on very low health. I've got 38 arrows left. I don't think that's enough to kill him, but I'm not able to kill him because I can't get the right position on him. I mean, we could try and shoot a couple from here, but I don't think we're going to be able to take him down. But what we're going to be doing in today's video is we are going to be taking on the False King. And hopefully if we kill him in this video with no issues, then we should be able to uh, finish the game today. But it will all depend on how well I do against the False King. But the False King is no joke. He's definitely one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. Which makes sense because he's technically the final boss. The reason why I'm naked at the moment, if you're wondering why, is because if I've got uh, less armour on, then I'll be able to uh, run quicker. I'm hitting him, but I don't think he's taking damage. I can hear the noise through my controller. Like, listen. Did you, did you hear it? I think you heard it. It's like a little noise. I'm going to use the rest of my arrows, and if he dies, he dies. If he don't, he don't. Can he shoot me from here? I don't think he's even taking damage from this, to be honest. I mean, he should be, but his health bar ain't coming up. His weak spot is definitely under his chin, though. Because under there, if you've got a... Like with my bow that I'm currently using and heavy arrows, normally I'd do like 35 damage per hit. I was only doing like 25 in the last video. And that's because my bow needs one more or two more upgrades. So that's probably why. Yeah, he's not going to die. We just wasted all those arrows probably. Right. I've got 71,000 souls. I don't, I don't know if I should go back to the Nexus and do a bit of upgrading quickly. Oh shit. Bloody hell, look at that. I don't know if I should go back because that's a lot of souls to be honest. Should we go back? I don't really want to, because then I've got to fight my way back here again. And now that this little devil is uh, here, what? what? <sighs> nah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna go straight to the false king. If I don't die, it's all good. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. What the hell? So we died anyway. I may as well have gone back and leveled up a bit. Oh, you bastard. Don't mind me, I'm just a naked man running through the ruins of this castle. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is a terrible idea. Right, let me put my armour back on. The Blue Iron Knight kit might be good to wear, actually. Because it's a little bit lighter. It might be as close as I'm going to get to the King Door and Armour set in this playthrough. Maybe I should put that on. Ow. At least I can actually pick up some items now, now I've used all my arrows up. <laughs> I hate that thief guy. Watch out for the other red knight, he might come down the stairs.
As soon as you look up, he like suddenly appears. Oh, that was vicious. That was vicious. We did not give him a chance to breathe, did we? That was vicious. <laughs> Very nice. I should have cut all this bit out, really, shouldn't I? Right, so instead of going that way now, where the officials are going to be, is the blue dragon there again? Oh, sweet, he moves back. I didn't know he moved back. Right, if we, quit, if we take all our clothes off, we can run past him then. But yeah, this is where the shortcut is that we unlocked at the very, very, very end of the last video, if you want to see it. You see what I mean though? You've got that stress of every time you're coming back to the false game. Hey look, it's our buddy. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. Alright, we've got something to do before we get to the false king. If I put these on, will I be able to roll a bit better? Oh, a little bit. Oh no, I didn't pick up my souls. Oh shit. <laughs> well those 71,000 souls are probably going to be gone for good now. Oh, it's you, is it? My father is up above. <laughs> well, something like him anyway. A demon in his shape. I began this quest to ask my father his reasons. To drag him back to the path of righteousness. But it seems it was all in vain. Please, kill my father. In his depraved state, he can only bring peril to these lands. This key opens Boletaria's mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum lies Father's sword, the demon brand, twin of soul brand. Use it to bring an end to his madness. Yeah, so this key, it gives you uh, access to the mausoleum and you can fight King Doran, who is this random dude in there. He's got the best armor in the game and one of the best rings, but he's also defending the weapon. Now you get the weapon Demon Brand, and I think you also get Soul Brand once you defeat the False King, and then by using the False King's Soul, as well as both Demon Brand and Soul Brand, you can combine them together at Blacksmith Ed once you've given him the uh, Searing Soul from Flame Lurker, and you can make like the, the North Regalaga or something like that. It's, like, it's one of the best weapons in the game, but you need to have enough of the right stats to use it. You've got to have a bit in magic, a bit in... What is it? It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to check the. Where is it? A little bit in faith, a little bit in magic, and then some dexterity. And I think it's mostly in strength after that. But it's a very, it's quite a heavy weapon, but it's very good. But now that you've uh, got the mausoleum key and he's died, that is the end of his quest line. And unfortunately, a black phantom of him will appear up here now that you've got to deal with. And I think this is how you get both of his uh, sword and shield. I don't remember if he was difficult or not, but we'll give it a go. Look at this place we're fighting though, just before his father. Very, very appropriate place to battle, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, that's not good! <laughs> oh! We knocked his stuff down there! I mean, I don't really need it and I ain't got the right stats to use it, but God's sake, what a waste! <laughs> well, when you kill him, you get his cool sword and shield. I think it's like the Ruin Sword or something. And I think it's got some good magical resistances. Okay, this is another problem with fighting the False King. If you die, you've got to deal with a slow-ass elevator. Right, let me explain it, because I think there's a time limit before the elevator starts bringing you back down for some reason. So with the False King, you can't be too far away from him. And you can't be too close to him, which makes him a bastard. So one attack that he does... He will stab his sword into the floor and then all of these like smoky clouds will appear around him. Now, depending on how close you are, if you're close to him, hit him. You get a free hit. But if you're a bit too far from him, don't try and run towards him to hit him because he does this massive explos explosive sonic wave. And it'll probably one-shot you. So don't go near him when he does it if you're not close enough. 
Uh, another attack he does when you're close to him, I don't even know what the hell this attack does. I think it just makes you weak. I'm not sure what it does, but he, he'll try and grab you. And even if you've got heavy armor, try and roll away. Because if he grabs you, it's like he weakens you. Puts like a debuff on you. I don't know, it's weird. And then he's got like a charge attack he does if you run too far from him. But you can outrun him if you get further away from him than he can charge. So that's also good. And he does like an uppercut swipe. And that's where you can like sidestep and then smack him in the bum. And then he also just does a combo when you're close to him. You can block a lot of his attacks, but he hits fast and hard. So your stamina will deplete very quickly. And then you're open to be comboed to death. He's going to kill me. There's no way we're going to kill him in one. I'm telling you right now. This took me a week and a half on the PS3. And it took me an hour on the PS5. So let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. He's a great boss fight though. He's actually one of the difficult ones. Because there's a lot of bosses in this game that are right pushover. Some of them become a bit more challenging in New Game Plus. But uh, even then, a lot of them are pushovers. But old, old King Alan, a.k.a. the False King. Flame Lurker. Uh, I suppose Man Eater in some ways, those are definitely, they are one for the books. It's the same in all the Souls games really, there's always the ones that are quite easy and then ones that are a bit more challenging, even in Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3, especially Dark Souls, there's a couple of right punks in that game, I tell you. <laughs> couple of right punks in that game. The Great Grey Wolf Sith, that's a pretty difficult one. Uh, Bernie and Ur, I like to call them, aka Dragon Slayer or Stein and Executioner Smell, they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> I hated those two. Alright, fuck me sideways. Here we go. Right, so one area that I like to battle him at is over here. Because when you're standing behind here, he can't really charge towards you and he gets stuck behind that balcony up there. That banister, I should say. So it's sometimes a good place to stand over here. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, that's the attack. But move away. If you're close enough to him, you can have a few free hits. Oh, don't keep doing it. Come on. I don't know if I should use some maybe black pine resin. This guy's got magic, so maybe magic will be not very good. For fuck's sake! Let me just stack here, see if he'll come over. I might as well wait to recharge my thingy now. Better stay ready in case he changes. Oh, here we go. I'm going to use a black pine resin just once, see if that helps. Oh, don't, don't start trying to dodge again, B-Wolf. The, uh, the black pine resin does do quite a bit of damage, but it just don't last very long. Literally vanished as soon as he got here. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god! Poor attempt. That was a very poor attempt. I mean, we got rid of a quarter of his health, maybe a third. All right, I'll see you back at the boss then. This is going to be a nightmare. This is. 
Alright, let's try this again. I killed a couple of enemies and I claimed all of my random souls that I had from like heroes and stuff and I upgraded my stamina a little bit more just so I can run a bit more when he does his stupid attack with the uh, wind and that but I only put a couple more points into it. Could like two more in endurance maybe. Alright, let's try this again. This is number two. I don't like this guy. I fucking hate this guy so much. I just gotta get the hang of his flipping swings and his little wind attacks that he does. Once I get the hang of them again, we should be okay. And make sure I have enough stamina left to run away from his wind attack if he does it. Because as you saw, it nearly one-shotted me, so it's very dangerous. It's just annoying that I have to wait for this bloody elevator every time I come back. That's the annoying thing. And I've got to dodge that blue dragon and take my armor off and all that stuff. Pain in the butt. Gonna use one more black pine resin. I'm gonna mostly rely on magic though. Hopefully he doesn't keep doing his wind attack again. I don't want to pop it just yet because it doesn't last very long. Let's see what he's gonna do first. Watch out, watch out! That's the attack I was talking about. Right, we've wasted this pine resin, that's for sure. Oh shit. I thought he was gonna... I mean, it gives you a break when he does that, I guess. Ah, fucking missed. Oh, got a bit too cocky then. Just block when he does swipes because of the wind that comes off of him. If you're close enough when he does that, run over and get a few free hits, but it obviously is risky. I should have ran towards him then, we were close enough. You just gotta make sure you've got enough stamina ready when you hit him. Oh. I kinda want him to do his wind attack. Not that one. No, 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 Watch out, watch out. He didn't like being pushed, did he? I need to get my magic on my weapon. No, no, no! No! Soul level drain. So what does it do? Does it make me weaker? That's what I didn't even know what that did. I'm not doing very well at the moment. Oh no! I've got no idea what that does. in a lot at the moment.
I need to drink some mana. He's coming! <laughs> He's coming! I feel the control vibrating! I should have gone for him. Yes! Two tries! Two tries! Even better, even better than off camera. Brilliant! Oh my god, I was so dreading this. Look at that, mate. 100,000 souls. Fuck me. Jesus. Oh, brilliant. All right, there's going to be a cutscene now. And then we're going to head to, I guess it's the final boss, but it's, it's, it's not a boss. It ain't a boss. It's, it's just like an ended bit, really. All right, let's go. Oh, brilliant. How did you defeat my demonic reflection? How many souls might you have devoured, I wonder? The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be beckoned. Okay. Okay, right. So, um, one thing I should have mentioned, before you defeat the False King, um, make sure you make a, a backup save, like upload a save to PlayStation Plus if you've got it, um, because there's a couple of things that you can't do once you've defeated the False King. So if there's any like things you want to collect, or any like quests you want to do, or any rings you might want to claim, if you try and do it after the False King is defeated, some of those things are impossible to do. Like if you've got a pure white character tendency and you wanted to get the uh, ring from the kid, the uh, monumental, the friend ring uh, or the ally ring or whatever it's called, um, you won't be able to get it if you've defeated the false king. So make sure you do any of that stuff before you defeat the false king. But you also want to make a backup save now because there's two different uh, endings you can get in this game and one of them gets you a gold trophy and the other one gets you uh, a soul so depending on if you're going to do new game plus or depending on if you're going to just go um, straight off the game once you've completed it it'll determine what kind of ending you want because you might want to get that free gold trophy but yeah we're going to speak to the uh, maiden now and then we're going to head to the uh, old king alan pretty much because as you heard he's a uh, He's, um, we defeated his, like, copy, his clone, or whatever. He's, like, the illusion of him. So now we're going to go and see him for real and meet the old one as well. So let's go and do it. Let's have a chat with our dear friend, the maiden. I love this bloody game, though. Flipping ten out of ten. Hark, I hear a voice of yore. The old one calls for thee. Let us proceed below to its lair.
granted thy wish. A new demon. Come now, be good. So is that the old one right there? I mean, that does look pretty damn cool, doesn't it? But what is he supposed to be? Is the old one like a giant fluffy looking slug? <laughs> what is it supposed to be? I'm not even sure. Or maybe it's just like a um, like a, an entity within this big like cocoon looking thing. I like how she was talking to it as a uh, dog. But she's told the uh, she told the old one that she's brought a new demon, and I guess me being the demon, like she's brought a new servant for the old one. So I guess she's trying to trick him so I can go in there and cause all kinds of shenanigans. But obviously I can be a baddie or I can be a goodie. It all depends on the choice you make. Right, let's do this. I know I'm in human form, but it doesn't matter now. We've done everything we need to do now, so we can stay in human form for a bit. Obviously, if you go back into the Ark Stones, go back into soul form, unless you want to start making the world pure black, then stay in human form and keep killing yourself over and over in the Ark Stones, then you get pure black world tendency. What's You have game? been chosen by the Old One. Will you seek the everlasting demon souls? Or has the monumental blinded you? Whatever you have chosen. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. The God is merciful, and so created the Old One. Poison to poison. The Old One will feed upon our souls and put an end to this tragedy. Look at the state of old King Alan. What's happened to you, mate? You turned into a liar. So that tar monster from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I'm battering your bum bum. But this is technically the last boss of the game. What a pussy. <laughs> your clone was better than you, mate. There we go. I kind of agree, I don't wish to go one half the time, but you know, you've got to, you ain't got much of a choice. And here's the weapon. Soul Brand, and you combine that with Demon Brand and Old King Alan's soul, the False King's soul, uh, at the uh, Blacksmith Ed, and you'll get the Northern Regaliga or something like that. That's, it's something like that, but it's supposed to be the best weapon in the game. Okay, right, cutscene time and choice time. is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. Shall lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, right. So, you've got two choices right now. Uh, if you want to get both endings, just like I said, make a save before the false king, preferably, but at least before you come into here. So, uh, you, can, you can let your lust for souls take over, and you can actually kill the maiden in black, 
and then you can become the new demon champion of the old one and then the whole process will continue. The fog will sweep across the land and you will travel around draining souls from everybody. That's your first option. Or your second option is to leave because your job is done. The maiden in black will send the old one back to slumber, the fog will be removed and you would have saved the world. So those are your two options. But um, if you want the gold trophy, then you just walk up to her and that will be, be you killing her. Uh, it's a bit aggressive actually, but we're not going to be bad, we're going to be good. We've played this game as a good guy and we're going to stay as a good guy. But yeah, you go over there and smack her, that's the bad ending, you get a gold trophy. And to get the Maiden in Black Soul, to get one of the best uh, spells in the game, if you're a magic character, I think it's the Firestorm maybe. Oh no, it's Soul Sucker ability. You need her soul in New Game Plus to get it and you've got to rescue Yura the Witch again. But to get her soul, you've got to leave. And we're going to leave, so let's get out of here. And then that will be the end of this playthrough. And what a remarkable one it's been. I love the notes in this game. I love them. The old one, along with the maiden, was swept back into the lulling fog. Volataria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of the soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. A brave new hero of unprecedented power. There you go. That was the Demon Souls remake on the PlayStation 5, remade by the brilliant Blue Point Games and originally made by From Software and I think Sony Japan Studio helped as well, similar to how they helped with Bloodborne and stuff. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed this playthrough everyone, I've, uh, I flipping loved playing this on YouTube, it's, there's loads I can talk about, loads of memories I can talk about, many things for me to explain so I've always got something to say, probably spoke a bit too much in this playthrough sometimes but this has been a fun playthrough. A couple of videos were a little bit off, I do apologise. Uh, I did have a bit of a bad time in three of the videos just because of, you know, mental stuff that was going on and depression and stuff. But other than that, I think this has been a good playthrough and I hope you've all enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be playing after this. There's not too many things coming out at the moment and because of the pandemic, there's a lot of delays. But maybe we could do some destruction uh, all-stars that new uh, multiplayer game coming to the PS5. I suppose we could play that maybe. We'll have to see. There's a nice little uh, message there as well. Some absolute legends on there. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.